Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video we are going to take up one very interesting question from sequence and series. Here we have to evaluate infinite sum of 1 over 12 minus 1 times 4 over 12 times 18 plus 1 times 4 times 7 over 12 times 18 times 24 minus dot 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 up to infinity. So let's get started by considering this sum equal to s. So we can write s equal to. Now in numerator it is 1 ap whose common difference is 3. Denominator it is again 1 ap whose common difference is 6. So let us divide numerator and denominator by its common difference. So I will write here 1 over 3 over 12 over 6. So I need to compensate denominator 3 and denominators denominator 6 also. 3 over 6 minus 1 I will write 1 over 3 4 it will be 4 over 3 over 12 it will be 12 over 6 18 will write 18 over 6 so here I need to multiply by 3 over 6 whole is square similarly the third term 1 can be written as 1 over 3 4 over 3, 7 over 3, over 12 over 6, 18 over 6, 24 over 6. Then I will write 3 over 6 whole cube minus dot dot dot. Let's simplify. So 1 over 3 over 2. 3 over 6 is half minus 1 over 3 times 4 over 3 over 2 times 3 then half whole square plus 1 over 3 times 4 over 3 times 7 over 3 over 2 times 3 times 4 and then half cube minus and so on. Now I can multiply our denominator by 1. Here also, here also, so that we can write denominator in the form of factorials. So this will become 1 over 3 over 2 factorial times half minus 1 over 3 times 4 over 3 over 3 factorial times half square plus 1 over 3 times 4 over 3 times 7 over 3 over 4 factorial and then we will multiply with half cube minus and so on. Let us write here. Now we will multiply both sides by minus 2 over 3. So let me write minus 2 over 3. In LHS also minus 2 over 3. So I can write minus 2 over 3 times s equal to 1 over 3 times minus 2 over 3 over 2 factorial times half minus 1 over 3 minus 2 over 3 4 over 3 over 3 factorial times 1 by 2 whole square plus 1 over 3 times minus 2 over 3 times 4 over 3 times 7 over 3 over 4 factorial times 1 over 2 whole cube minus and so on. Now, now we will multiply both sides by half. So let us multiply here with half. Here it will be 
power 2. Here I will write power 3. Here I will be writing power 4. Now this 2 and 2 will be over. So I can write minus s over 3 equal to 1 over 3 times minus 2 over 3 over 2 factorial times half a square minus 1 over 3 times minus 2 over 3 times 4 over 3 over 3 factorial times 1 over 2 whole cube plus and so on. Let me write this equation here. So we can write further minus s over 3 equal to I will be writing 2 over 3 times minus 1 over 3 divided by 2 factorial. Here I will write half a square then I will write plus minus times minus plus. So we will be writing 2 over 3. Then I will write minus 1 over 3. And then we need to write minus 4 over 3. Over 3 factorial times half cube plus and so on. Now if I will consider 2 over 3 as n. See how it will become 2 over 3 and minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3 minus 1 over 2 factorial times half a square plus 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3 minus 1 minus 4 over 3 we can write 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 factorial times half whole cube plus and so on. Now if I will write n as 2 over 3 then n and minus 1 over 2 factorial into x square it is our radix half n and minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial into x cube and so on. So we need to add 1 plus nx both sides. So I can write here minus s over 3. This will be equal to 2 over 3 times minus 1 over 3 over 2 factorial half a square plus 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 4 over 3 over 3 factorial into half whole cube and then I will add 1 plus 2 over 3 times 1 by 2. So I need to subtract the same 1 plus 2 over 3 times half. So it is expansion of 1 plus x raised to the power n equal to 1 plus nx plus n n minus 1 over 2 factorial into x square and so on. So LHS will become minus s over 3 equal to RHS will be writing 1 plus x whole power n. So 1 plus half whole power 2 over 3 and then we need to subtract 1 plus 2 over 3 times half. So this 2 and 2 will be over. So I will take LCM. So 2 plus 1 3 over 2 whole power 2 over 3 minus 1 plus 1 over 3. So this will become 4 over 3. LHS is minus S over 3. Let us write here minus S over 3 equal to 3 over 2 whole power is 2 over 3 minus 4 over 3. 
multiply with minus 1 both sides, we will get s over 3 equal to 4 over 3 minus 3 over 2 whole power 2 over 3. So, 3 over 2 whole is square and then we can write whole power 1 over 3. So, this can be written as 9 over 4 whole power 1 over 3. So, s over 3 equal to 4 over 3 minus 9 over 4 whole power will be 1 over 3. Multiply both sides by 3. So, s will come out 4 minus 3 times. Let me write cube root 9 over 4. Now, here in the denominator, I can multiply with cube root 2. So, I need to multiply here also with cube root 2. Now, these two cube roots, I can simplify 4 minus 3 times cube root 18 over cube root 8. So, it will be 2. So, this is our final sum. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video, goodbye.